Hello and welcome to PA Academy. So in the, uh, this video, I'm going to be showing you how to construct a circle, four different, uh, four the same similar circle inside a square. So if you have a square like this and you want to draw four circles, so that the circle will touch two sides and two other circles. So you can see even the um, the rough sketch I'm doing, I'm not getting it very well. So it will be something like this. Yeah, so we are going to be having four circles, four equal circles that will be touching two sides of the square and two other circles. So that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. So to start with, what you are going to be doing is, first let's draw, uh, let's draw the circle. I mean, no, the square rather, sorry. Let's draw the square. So for the square, we are going to be using uh, a side of 12 uh, centimeter. So let me draw a straight line. So what I'm doing now is the square. So I'll be going through this real quick. So I'll just be using my protractor to get the... to get the perpendicular line so that we can be far quick with this. So now this is our square. So let's leave this is point A, B, C, and point and point D. So the next thing we're going to do is to draw a diagonal from point A to point C and then from point D to point B. So let's do that. So I'm going to draw that diagonal from point C to point A. From C to point A. So now I'm also going to draw another straight line from the middle of the line. So now let me just divide line AB. Don't forget you are using 12, um, 12 centimeters, so half of it will be 6. So half of half of twelve would be six. So let me do that. Of okay, let me just draw that straight down. So the diagonal will also, you know, I mean the line straight down will also pass through this diagonal. So let me measure. Um, let me mark six on line on line B C. So let's call this. So let's call this point one, point two, point three, point four. So you can see how we divide the circle now. So the next thing we are going to do is let's join points one and points four.
So we are going to join point four and point three. Point three and point two. And then point two and point one. Now, now with that, so what's this with what we've just drawn now? That means each of these we have four square inside this entire square. So that means in this particular square, one circle will be there, and the other circle will be here, and that circle will be here, and this circle will be here. Now with all those points, so let me also join that together. So this is going to be the center of the circle for this for this first box. This is going to also be the, the center. So for us to get uh, the center, you can either pick your compass. Or before you even pick your compass, just pick one of the box and draw a straight line. So this time, let me just draw it straight up. So let's call this point is zero. And let's call this... Let's call this... Um, okay, we have used... Let's call it E. So, the length of O, point O to E, rep will now uh, represent the radius of the circle that we are going to be drawing. So, what you can do is you can just pick your compass and then put it at that center here. So that you get the length. So now let's draw the first circle. So let me just confirm that it will touch the first. Um, yes, okay. So now let's draw the first circle. So that's the first circle. Now let's go to the. Now make sure you don't shake it. So let's go to the next one. This is which is this. So let's draw. Let's draw the second circle. So you can see it's touching the two sides of the square, and you also touch two other circles. I'm only going through it again so that the circle can be bold. I don't want to add too much, uh, too much pressure on the compass so that it won't move, so that the length will not move from the length we are using. So now this is the third one. So now let's go to the last and the fourth one. So that is it guys, we've been able to draw uh, four circles inside a square to touch two sides and two other circles. I'm trying to, let me just uh, add more pressure to one of the circles to make it bold so that you can see it clearly. So I've made it bold and this is now, it, I, the circle is now clear. So you can see, for let's take this circle for example. You can see this particular circle is touching two other circles. It's touching this circle. It's touching this circle and it's touching this other circle. And then two sides. It's touching this side of the square and this other side of the square. So this is how you go about drawing a, uh, four equal circles inside the square to touch two sides and two other circles. So if you find this video helpful, kindly click on this uh, like button to like this video. I also click on subscribe button to subscribe to PA Academy if you are yet to subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you all in another video. Thank you.